There's a lot of videos out there floating around of extraterrestrials and other things. But how do you know if those are real or fake? We'll go ahead and take a look at it in digital forensics, see what we can find. I'm going to be showing a clip of this video that this screenshot I have is taken from first. And then we'll take a look at the digital forensics and see if we can discover if it's been enhanced or altered. And uh, we'll see what, where the evidence leads us. The link for the source of this video is in the description. It came on Twitter uh, from a Spanish-speaking uh, user. And he says he can't divulge where the source of this video is from, which is awfully frustrating. But we'll take a look at it and see what we can find. Okay, I've taken some screenshots of the clip we just looked at. The digital signatures that we're looking for are already in the image, so by using screenshots of the video, we can work with what's already there. The software we're using for this is Forensically. This is free software. You don't have to download anything. It just works right in your web browser. The link for it will be in the description, and you can do this on your own. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at the JPEG analysis, and we see that our quality is at 94. So I'm going to go up here to my error level analysis and bump that up to 94. And it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to bump up the error scale here. And that way we can see a little bit better what we're looking at as far as the digital signatures. And you can see that our friend here on the left and this figure on the right, the digital signatures are exactly the same. And that's the same also with this railing here that's between them. Uh, looks like a picnic bench or maybe a railing of some kind. But as you can see, the error a level, the error level analysis is bringing out the digital signatures in this and it's pretty consistent throughout the whole image. As with everything, we want to take a couple screenshots of it and not just rely on one. So I'm going to bring up the next one that I have here. And my JPEG analysis, this is the same at 94. So when I turn on the ELA, we see the same story. There's a lot of blues and oranges, and it's pretty consistent in both figures and in the fence here. We've got a little extra blue here on the guy on the left. Well, that's fairly normal. If you look at the brightness of his shirt, that's kind of what's coming out there. But for the most part, all the digital signatures are the same. But again, not wanting to rely on just two images, I went ahead and took a third one. And we'll t bring that up here. And this one, a JPEG analysis shows it me at, with a quality at 90. So I'm going to bump my quality down here a little bit here on the ELA. Mm -hmm. And we can see in this one, I used a different software to take this particular screenshot so the digital signatures look a lot different. But they're the same on both figures. So we're looking for the colors and the pattern of the signatures and we see that, that we've got the same colors, we've got the same patterns on both images. And one thing I would like to point out, let me bring up the second image again that I have here. I'll bump my quality back up to 94 for this one. And you can see the signatures are the same here, but up in here in the top left there's some kind of added I'm not sure what it is it's like a something something that the, the software that they used to capture this video was overlaid over top of the image and that's coming out here the digital signatures you can see are very different from the rest of the image so that's kind of something that you can use as a comparison what you're looking for had this been edited or this figure on the right added to the original footage 
that that would stick out much like this does. And it's kind of like when you'll see a little watermark or a logo on the side of a video. This is the type of signatures you'll see. And you don't see them in our either of the figures or the background. And that's the case with all three of the screenshots I have. So what this tells us is that this figure was in the video. This was actually there. Now one thing I will point out is that digital forensics can't rule out practical special effects. So if this is a person in a costume, it'll show up as genuine footage even though it's actually been faked. But we don't know, there's no way to really determine that using just this footage alone. I really wish that the person that shared this would provide more details on where he got it. But unfortunately he says that he has to keep this source anonymous and he can't reveal where he got this. But he's very clear that it doesn't show up in a movie. I have looked and it's not in a movie. This is unique footage. But whether this is an actual extraterrestrial or somebody in a costume, I can't really say. So, but with the evidence we have, we can say that this wasn't CGI or a Photoshop job or any other kind of digital alterations. What you see is what you get. What you see could be an extraterrestrial or it could be just a person in a costume. Um, I will say that if it is a costume, it's a really well-made one. And I, like I said, I wish I had more details on where this came from. But like I said, the link for the clip is in the description. You can go visit it yourself. The person that shared this is Spanish speaking, but you know, Twitter will translate that for you. And uh, um, I hope this has been useful for you, and I hope you're liking the videos. If you do, hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one, and enjoy yourself.